Hey, what's happening guys? Chris here with another Battlefield 1 weapon guide, and today I'm going to be taking a good look at one of the medic weapons, the M1907 SL. The Winchester Model 1907 is an American semi-automatic rifle, chambered for the 351 self-loading centerfire cartridge. It was a more powerful development from Winchester's earlier 1905 model, and unlike a lot of the other rifles around at the time, the gun featured detachable box magazines for quicker, easier reloads. With production starting in 1907 and ending 50 years later in 1957, the rifle was a reliable weapon, ordered by several different countries to be used during World War I. The first batch of M1907s were sent over to France in 1915, with more orders following over the next few years. And according to factory records, some of these versions were also modified to fire in a fully automatic mode. They had bayonets fitted, and they also used 15 or 20 round magazines, more than the standard 5 and 10 round magazines that the normal version used. France wasn't the only buyer for the Model 1907, as Great Britain also purchased the rifles in 1916 to be used by the Royal Flying Corps, and these versions were also modified specifically to be used on aircraft for rear seat observers. The Russians also bought over 500 rifles in 1916, but oddly enough, it was never actually used by the American Doughboys during the war, despite being a weapon born in the USA. Though the gun was still used in limited numbers by the US Air Corps in the American Southwest, around the same time as the Great War. Several different variants were designed later on in the M1907's lifetime, some featuring pistol grip stocks for extra stability, along with special law enforcement variants to be used by the police. But by the 1960s, the M1907 became obsolete, as it was replaced by newer rifle designs which utilised different cartridges, leaving the old model 1907 behind as a piece of history. Now, moving over to Battlefield 1, the M1907 can be found under the medic category, and just like most of the other weapons, there's three different variants available, the Factory, Trench and Sweeper, which I'll be talking more about and comparing later on in the video. But as for those general weapon stats, looking at the M1907's damage model, the gun's got a maximum damage of 42 up to 17 meters, and a minimum damage of 23 at 39 meters and beyond. This is a pretty interesting set of figures, as it's got one of the highest close range damage values of the medic guns, but at the same time deals one of the weakest amounts of damage over longer distances. So just like the other semi-auto rifles, the gun's going to kill with three shots to the body at those closer ranges. Though over distance, damage will drop off by almost half, meaning it could take up to five rounds to take out an enemy further away. It's got one of the worst overall ranges, with that drop off starting so early, and just to make life even harder, the M1907's also got the lowest bullet velocity in the Medic Class 2, at just 570 meters per second. Because of this slower bullet travel time, your rounds are going to take a fraction of a second longer to reach your opponent meaning you'll probably need to lead moving targets over longer ranges to land those shots successfully. It's fairly easy to get used to, but it still makes the M1907 a harder weapon to use at long distances, especially with it having such a weak damage output over these longer ranges too. As far as its fire rate is concerned, it shares the same RPM as the Serigotti, blasting out consecutive shots at 300 rounds per minute, which is pretty good. It's not quite as fast as the auto-loading 8, but it's still enough to quickly knock out chunks of health at a reasonably steady pace, which is much more useful in CQC where you'll need to get those rounds out as quickly as you possibly can. The recoil pattern's kind of average, with a vertical kick of 0.8 and a horizontal kick of 0.42. Its upwards jolting shouldn't be too difficult to contend with, as quite a few of the other medic guns do have a higher figure than this, often making them feel less stable. Though the M1907's horizontal kick is definitely on the higher side, and this is probably going to make the gun seem less accurate in the process, as fewer bullets are going to go where you want them to, as the gun jolts around from side to side. But though one thing that the M1907 has that a lot of other medic rifles don't, is a fairly large magazine capacity. Each reload is going to grant you with 21 bullets, 20 rounds in the mag and one in the chamber. Because a lot of the other semi-auto rifles can only hold 5 to 10 rounds at a time, which often takes longer to reload too. This means that the M1907 can generally handle ammunition much better, and allow you to survive gunfights that you would have otherwise lost using other rifles. So taking a look at the different variations next, with the first one being the factory variant. Just like the other factory variants in the game, this is going to give the weapon a much faster recoil decrease, allowing the gun to recover from recoil 50% quicker after every shot. It's also going to recover 100% quicker from spread whilst firing from the hip 
and this variant should generally allow you to get back on target easier to land those follow up shots. It might be a better variant to use for lining up individual hits more accurately and could be a more effective choice if you want to regain accuracy quicker after every pull of the trigger. As for the trench variant, this is going to directly buff hit fire, with a 50% lower base spread while stationary, 40% lower base spread whilst moving, and with 50% less spread increase per shot, all whilst firing from the hip. It's a pretty self explanatory one really, though because the M1907 is better suited for those closer range battles than other medic guns, the trench variant could be a useful option to bypass ADS in close quarter combat and gun down your enemies effectively with that hip fire instead. But last and certainly not least is my personal favourite, the fully automatic sweeper variant, which fires at the same rate as the other semi-auto variations, but you can just simply hold down on the trigger and let the gun fire away at its maximum RPM, without having to tap away like a crazed lunatic. Although this same fire rate can still be achieved in semi-auto, the sweeper variant also has a lower vertical recoil figure of 0.56 instead of 0.8, making it more stable and controllable to use over the others. It's also got less spread increase per shot than the factory variant 2 whilst hip firing. And overall, these factors make it a great variant to pick for gunning down enemies in CQC. So in conclusion, the M1907 SL is a weapon designed to perform better than other medic rifles in those closer ranges, but perhaps not so much against enemies far away. This comes from the fact that it's got a high maximum damage, a low minimum damage, pretty cruddy range in general, and a low bullet velocity though its rate of fire is on the higher end of the spectrum, which should allow you to get those bullets out quickly and effectively. It's got a pretty large mag size, and because you'll often be using the gun in close to medium ranges, these extra bullets are going to help see you through battle and help you survive when you're up in the front lines. But generally the M1907 shines the most up close. It's not the most accurate weapon in the game, though it's pretty steady and reliable to use, so long as your target isn't too far away. So that's all this time guys, give me a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe for plenty more. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.